my tutorial about the uh, Conan the Barbarian costume for Halloween or for cosplay. This is from the 1982 film Conan the Barbarian, which starred Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, not the remake, this is the original 1982 or 1983 movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he appeared again in the Red Sonja movie um, as a different character and wore a similar costume. So he wore several different outfits during the uh, during the course of the movies, but uh, this is this is what we came up with for Halloween, and this was worn by my boyfriend when I was wearing the Red Sonja costume. So Arnold pranced around for most of the movie in basically an itty bitty diaper, but we uh, enlarged the diaper into more of a, a skirt type device, which is two pieces. Um, if you looked at the pictures before, there's a front, which is just a section of fur with a couple of holes here so that you can tie a strap around your waist. And then that overlaps with the back, which is essentially the same thing. Another piece of fur with holes here, and then that gets tied around the waist. So you have a front and a back. It's like wearing two aprons. And then this was a very nice part of the costume, is the belt that he wore over the costume. Okay, let's do this right. Okay, so this is actually um, a couple of belts put together that were found in a store, and the belts already had these gold medallions on it, and then we added um, upholstery tacks. You have to cut the ends of the nails off the upholstery nails, and they were glued on. So this is something, this is the sword sheath, which is just a piece of uh, gold upholstery vinyl. I did the same thing for my Red Sonia costume. It's just a little bit of upholstery vinyl so that you can carry a sword with you. And then over here, because the, the costume really doesn't come with pockets and you still need to carry around your keys and your cell phone and your wallet. So this is um, a little satchel that I made uh, out of brown upholstery vinyl. Um, you know, furniture upholstery vinyl, and it was very ample. Um, and it's just like making an envelope. It's just like sewing an envelope together. And these tacks, this is something that came in very hand handy for the costume, is these paper fasteners that you buy when um, fastening paper together if you don't want to put them in a binder. And they're good for a multitude of uses. So those got used a lot. Now this is one of the best costume pieces. This is the headband that Arnold wore. And it's very similar, extremely similar to what he had on in the movie. So basically the belt, the, the basis is a leather belt. Um, it's just a leather belt that you cut the ends off. I made a couple of holes here so you could tie it on the back. Uh, the center piece, which goes down your, the center of your nose. This is big on me, but this comes down this way. Um, was made out of a, another belt, slightly narrower. And then we have some of these upholstery, not upholstery, um, the paper fasteners holding them together. And these were more upholstery nails, just the heads with the nail part cut off. And then these little gold sequins are actually, I took the gold upholstery vinyl and I cut holes out of it using a paper cut, a hole puncher. So those were glued on and this came out very, very authentic, very close to the movie, and the fact that it's made out of actual leather made it very comfortable to wear. Um, we added a few more things that may not have appeared in the movie. This is um, a shoulder guard, and then these are the wrist guards, um, like the gauntlets. And these were made by I had these in the house. They were originally silver. They came with the costume that you buy if you're going to be um, like a Roman soldier or something from that time period. And they were originally silver. So they were spray painted gold where the rivets are and then brown and then touched up with some black paint just to add more accents. Same thing here. This was originally silver, but they were spray painted um, gold and then masked off and then brown and then touched up with the uh, that, that goes up here okay and these just cover the front of your wrist but the backs get tied on 
with the uh, lacing, like uh, with the corset lacing crisscross. Um, so for the shoes, just took a basic pair of sandals, and then we tied on some matching cord, wrapped crisscross around the ankles up to the knee. You can also, you, if you have furry boots, that will also work, or leather boots that don't have an obvious heel on them. And this might have been the best part of the costume. It was the necklace that Arnold wore. And this was a very creative, collaborative effort. I could not find teeth. I could not find where to buy teeth. So we found some beads that are, I think these beads are actually mother of pearl shells. I don't know how well you could see that. These are mother of pearl bits, but they looked like the size and shape of teeth. So they were spray painted white. They were glued on and then threaded on to a piece of leather. And the medallion, um, maybe Mike is going to explain better to you, the, uh, the Arnold that wore it. Uh, some kind of a clock mechanism or a lock mechanism in the back. And then bits of just regular cardboard to create the centerpiece. And then glued on, spray painted gold, and then held together with gold uh, electrical wire, uh, copper, you know, copper yeah. wire that you use for uh, electrical work. Um, I think that's everything. I'm going to let the, uh, the Arnold that wore it show you the rest of the costume, how he made it. Hi guys, I think uh, my girlfriend Dina had a great explanation. There's not really that much more to say. Um, the medallion was something that I worked on. I, I really, really enjoyed working on this. It's as Dina said, it's basically cardboard, and the uh, round uh, circular sleeve is a um, is uh, from a door lock set. It's just a, a regulator in a door lock, so it was something that I had on hand. And uh, the center is all cardboard that I cut out. I spray painted gold. Uh, I used um, some uh, copper wire to uh, make the crisscrosses. If you look at the medallion in the movie, it's uh, it actually came pretty similar. And uh, we got nothing but compliments throughout the night on both of our outfits. Uh, Dina being Red Sonia and uh, myself as um, Conan the Barbarian. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much for watching.